Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 15 years. Has it set in? Do you guys ever think about that? I think, I think <laughs> 15 actually did kind of set in because it came so fast. And then it forced you, 15 years kind of forces you to think about it. Yeah. And all the, all the things that happened in that 15 years. And um, it, what the sad part is that it makes you feel like, oh, if that 15 years went by that fast, like, well, the next 15 years, and then, then you're going to be like old. 60. And you're yeah. like, oh, my God. Like, uh, then you start freaking out, <laughs> laying in bed, and you're like having anxiety. So it, do, it does. It's weird. It, it happens. Like, you're not thinking about it all the way up there. And then you, ha you hit these milestones, and you just sort of reflect, and it, it's good and bad. Well, if you really think about it, you guys were the first. You really kicked it off. We did. How do you feel looking back at that? Old. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I just here. say that again? Yeah. I feel old. <laughs> um, I feel really lucky that it was, it was us. You know, we got to be part of it from the beginning when no one knew what it was. You know, I remember sitting in my living room in Miami watching Extra and not lying i'm not lying i was watching extra and the casting director came on and said we have a new reality show you can travel and meet people and you know maybe be introduced to the love of your life kind of thing and i thought hmm i'm you know not 100 percent happy here that could be fun and so i went on on the website and you know submitted my application and the rest is history so it's it, it's really kind of cool that we're part of something that is part of our history, our pop culture. You know, it it really truly is. When you think of society now, there's so much reality television on now. And I remember when they said it wasn't going to last. You know, I was part of a panel or went to a panel or something where it was like. Mike Fleiss and Simon Cowell and um, what's his one who does Survivor? Uh, Mark, not, Burnett. yeah, Mark Burnett. Um, and, you know, people were like, it's not gonna last. It's just a, fa a phase, a fad. And hello, <laughs> <laughs> it's still ago? around. Elastic, yeah. So anyway, it's kind of cool. So what's been your secret? Because I feel like you guys are the epitome of reality couples where a lot of them don't last. I yeah. Feel. They, I, I mean, there are a handful of people who have made it work. And I think for us, it was about prioritizing our relationship and just living a normal, normal, quote unquote, life. You know, we moved to Vail and really made our life about each other. And although we took advantage of fun stuff, you know, go be on Oprah and go be on Ellen and, you know, those kind of fun things, go to award shows and, hey, enjoy it. But when it comes down to real life, you really have to focus on each other and just priori prioritize your relationship to so make it work. So is that the secret for you guys? You prioritize each other? I think that's one of them. I think so, too. I mean, I, I think, uh, honestly, some of it's just you, you're just lucky. We were lucky. You meet the right person, and then you, you go through these challenging experiences, and it it's either going to separate you or bring you closer together. And in our case, it brought us closer together. And mm -hmm. so we had a really strong foundation. It was a really short um, courtship, but our foundation was really solid. And so f we, we, we were able to build off of that in, and depend on that. Yeah. And That's then, yeah, so it was good. to give to the other couples to yeah. build up that foundation. Right, yeah. Right. And luckily for us, we, well, maybe lucky or unlucky, it probably would have worked out because nowadays they have all these rendezvous. Like I think every weekend or every other weekend or something like that. We had three over three months and we had to talk on the phone. Um, I mean, not had to, but it was our only ability. Like we had, we had to call, I think an 800 number or something. We didn't even have our cell phones. Like we couldn't, they wouldn't allow us to call. Actually, did we have cell phones back then? Yeah, yeah we had cell phones. <laughs> We had cell phones, but you couldn't, we couldn't call directly, so we had to call this roundabout way. It was so crazy. But then that's like, I'm not a really conversational type of person. But no, but we had we, to talk. It was the only way we could communicate. So we, it, there were, I think there were a lot of things that, in, looking back, worked out in our favor that brought us close together and that has, has resulted in this sort of 15 years of success. Yeah.
So now fans get to relive it. Mm -hmm. New fans get to see it for the first True. time. What do you think they'll find most shocking or most surprising from the first premiere season? They'll probably be bored. <laughs> be like, what? Where's all the like crazy drama stuff that's going on here? Where's the antagonist? So Everybody's true. getting along. That's so yeah. true. They will they will be shocked because all of the guys got along really well. No drama. None. I mean, I don't. I, I don't think there, there may was have been a any little drama. bit, but it wasn't. No, it was literally. There was one night where it was like a frat party, and they all got wasted, and one of them passed out. And they moved his bed outside, right? Yeah, Jack. Jack, yeah. And then we all laughed about it the next day on the group date that we were on. Like, it was just fun. Like, we had, they had so much fun. And even on The Bachelor, there, there really wasn't that much drama between all of us girls. I don't remember there being a lot of drama. I feel like it was just, we were all just trying to find our way. Completely changed. Mm -hmm. Completely changed. Yeah. So much cattiness now that I can't stand. It drives me nuts. And so many w way cooler destinations. Way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love, I, I, I love Seattle. I love Seattle. But we were in Seattle. That was our big date. a little date. jealous right there. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> Mallorca and Portugal <laughs> and Turkey, and we went to Seattle. I mean, we love Seattle. Don't get us wrong. Dude, but. We, I, we great. love to travel yeah. too. So, <laughs> you, know, you even said your kids actually know this is how you met. Yeah. What do they think of that? You know, I think finally telling them how we met, they had some kind of relief because for years, since they were born, people have come up to us and said, "Oh, I loved you on The Bachelor. I loved you on The Bachelorette. Can we take a picture? Can Can you call my who? You know, whoever's on the phone." So for them to finally figure out, oh, now it makes sense why people want to take mommy and daddy's picture. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I remember think... Blakesy actually one time asking me, she's like, she's like Dad, are we famous? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, well, no, not really. No, like, we, we're not famous. A long famous. time ago this happened. Yeah. So it's, it, is, it is an interesting, you get away with just sort of ignoring it for a while, and then yeah. eventually it's, they have questions and you, tr you try to answer them. And, I'm going to steer them clear of watching the actual show as long as I can. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. Max probably He could less, care but. less. I don't know if you saw, but they were featured on the beginning of Colton's season, like the first episode. They came to our house and did like a, an update, and they focused more, more on the kids, which was adorable. But it was like it was like them sitting just like us, and it was like looking in – a backwards mirror or something, mm -hmm. you know? So they asked um, Ryan, or so they asked Max. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip. Um, what did they say? They said, so what do you think about it? And he goes, what was his word? It was so perfect. He was uh, like, I don't know, or uh, yeah, I don't was, care, or something. Yeah, it was like typical sh short answer, Max, not really wanting to talk. And, Blake's, of Blake's course, is like, it's cool. Absorbs the whole thing. She's like, with hair and makeup and like getting on there. <laughs> it was Looks so all, cute. It, yeah, it, was, it was super fun to get to give them that opportunity. They even did like the contemplative shots that they'll do. Like they have you look off into the distance, you know, and so they're getting you contemplating. They taped the kids uh -huh. doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> Terrible. You're like, please don't do this in the future. Right. You can do it in the no. future. You can steer them both ways. No, no, no. Max was like off like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, this is just oh, gold. So yeah. funny. And you did mention Colton. What did you think about his season? Uh, we haven't met Colton, but um, love him. I loved his season. He's a Colorado boy, so we were totally rooting for him. Do you think he made the right decision? I do. I think Colton and Cassie look so authentically happy, and the fact that he did it the way that he did it seems like they're going to work out. Yeah. And Hannah B., the new Bachelorette, any advice? Do they make the right decision choosing her? I think Hannah B. is going to be great. I mean, she, she yes, she's young, but that doesn't mean that she's not ready, you know? I think she's cute as button, and she's an Alpha Chi Omega, which is the sorority w I was in, so go Hannah B. <laughs> any advice you have for her to making it through the season? Any advice? Because it's a lot coming at you at once. 
I think just staying true to who she is. She needs to do that. She needs to enjoy it, be grateful for it, which I think she is. She seemed authentically grateful um, when she was on the after the final rose or whatever that was. Um, I think enjoying it is the enjoying, key. I mean, she, yeah. she's going to blink her eyes and be sitting here 15 years later and be like, oh. what, where, did it ha where did it go? And get sleep as much as you can. Sleep. Sleep. That's your advice. Sleep, get sleep, yes. She would sleep on. I would. Like, we would go dates. on dates and she would sleep on the way back, like yeah. in the car I, or something. I was like I'm laying like, in his lap. I'm like, you know, I only get a few hours <laughs> with you. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care. You're going to sleep. Don't. Just keep chirping. Let me sleep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I guess yep. I guess so. I needed to yeah. sleep. You got it. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.